welcome back to the channel soul tribe we are back here with your second reading for today evening readings later in the day um yeah let's get to it we do love and romance messages on this channel so if you come to this channel or this uh, video popped up on your algorithm maybe there's a message here for you right don't force the story to resonate if you know this is not for you go on into the channel and check out the playlist right I usually pick videos by the titles and the time, right? So yeah, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Let's check your current love energetics, whether you're single or if you're currently dealing with a relationship at this time. We may possibly get some messages about who wants to come towards you, right? Someone could be planning a relationship with you. <laughs> Don't you hate doing all the tough planning? Shouldn't someone come in and plan something for you sometimes? <laughs> Right. Let's see. Love messages for the collective today. What does the universe has to say? What does the cardomancy have to relay? We're using a right the wiser tarot deck. It's similar to the Rider Weight tarot deck. See high priestess in the pre-shuffle. That was a um, main card in the last reading. Very spiritual relationship or connection may want to uh, watch that reading and those that have watched that reading may want to look at the twin flame playlist but let's get into it enough of the rambling and babbling what is the highest messages of love and light for the watchers today spirit highest messages of love and light what does the collective need to know in regards to love and romance the matters of the heart their current relationships networkings Friendship connections. Who wants to connect with the collective at this time? All right. One more shuffle and we'll get into your reading. All right. Grounding the reading for you guys. Two days. The Seven of Swords. Ooh, sneaky behavior. Tiptoeing around a situation. Backstabbing. Not revealing the whole truth. Ooh. I can tell you're lying, because when you're replying, stutter, stutter. <laughs> Uh-oh. So the current energy that's grounding you right now or around you, grounding your situation, is sneaky behavior. Not sure if this is positive or negative. It could be in a strategy indeed. But, yep, tiptoeing around a situation. Someone's did some backstabbing here. Look how those cards speak, boy. When they're ready to talk, they're ready to talk. That seven plus three is a ten. There was an ending to a situation here. Some sort of a cheating <laughs> or lying or, excuse me, backstabbing. I just had lunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, looks like there's some sort of a breakup or some sort of a heartbreak situation currently going down or will be going down. I can't believe I just burped on camera. Yep. And that uh, may come as a surprise to you as well, this breakup. <laughs> Let's see. Seven of Wands, a lot of sevens showing up. There was a lot of sneaky behavior going on here. Mm hmm. But it seems like something happened at the right time or in divine timing, right? It's uh, rejection is the ultimate protection, right? And sometimes you may find out something in, in the nick of time, right? In order to avoid a tragedy or, the, or, or a disaster. But someone's being defensive, very guarded and protective right now. Could be fighting a situation. It almost seems like someone's fighting a love connection. Oh, God, with the, with the domestic violence. Two of Swords, block communication. Yeah. So there's a breakup and no one... <laughs> I don't want to speak to you ever again. Or it could be the, or it could be the dude. I don't want to speak to you ever again. <laughs> so we get block communication and misunderstanding, right? Let's see. We got a... Uh, this could be brain fog, someone not seeing something clearly or lying to themselves. It could also come off to me as, um, this is my contacts and glasses. So you could be dealing with someone that wears contacts or glasses, unless this is you, right? Just trying to confirm the energies of who I'm connecting with or what's, what's currently going on here. Nine of swords. So we go from a two to the nine. We go from a three to the two to the nine. This is the loneliness. This is the anxiety, possibly anger, the frustration and a possible mental illness after a breakup or knowing that you're in a messed up situation. I almost wanted to curse. 
but you may be um, avoiding getting out of it or you feel like a prisoner or this or this is this person that's coming towards you or currently dealing with you. I'm not sure what this relationship dynamic is, but there's a lot of hurt going on here. Let's go ahead and uh, get the last card in the first row. Then we'll start clarifying. Yeah, grief and loss. Now, what was it? Uh, change. Yeah. After winter comes spring. So, yeah, you could definitely be going through a bad situation at this time with a person that's, that's coming towards you. They could be going through some sort of a, okay, it's coming in as a short-term tragedy, right? Let's see. Oh, man. Let's see for the collective today. We're going to clarify these five, and then we'll do a break deck message to close out the love message. The six of wands. There's a victorious moment here. So we, we're basically dealing with a heartbreaker, right? So take the messages, how it resonates. I'm not sure if you already had a situation and there was a breakup or this is something coming towards you. But this is giving off a heartbreaker energy, right? The Six of Wands is a victorious individual or someone on a pedestal or on a platform, right? Someone that's receiving a standing ovation or a round of applause. You can even be um, getting your um, props for breaking up or ending a situation that you know was bad or toxic for you or that could be this person coming towards you like oh snap that's who you dating now your ex-girlfriend looked like trash <laughs> your new girl is bad <laughs> or or guy if you're a chick that's what i'm getting coming out of a bad situation to get a victorious moment come into something better so we have six of wands we have seven of wands let's clarify the seven of wands the ten of pentacles yeah someone's in their bag now they got their confidence up they got their uh, life force energy up mm-hmm this could have been through some sort of a training, maybe gym training or something like that, or spiritual training. Or maybe they got a, a better job or something like that. You know, men gain more confidence the more money they have. Women gain more confidence the more beautiful they look. So again, like gym training. I may even be taking the course myself right now. I'm sampling it. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to put more attention into this YouTube channel, right? <laughs> And build the aesthetics around it and the mechanics. So, yeah. <clears throat> there could be some sort of an upgrading going on at this time. Let's go ahead and clarify the two of swords. The fool card. I'm getting birthday suit vibes. Yeah, so someone's definitely gotten a lot of confidence. This fool card is coming out on top of the ace. Uh, sorry, not the ace. Ooh, Feridian slip. Yeah, someone's having a glow up here. There's a new beginning for someone. A leap of faith. Yeah. On top of the two of swords, so they don't even care. They're just taking a leap of faith. Yeah. And I tell people this all the time. Like, you're going to be buried in your coffin by yourself. <laughs> no matter how much these people claim they love you, right? <laughs> Whether they let you down sometimes or they actually fulfill what they say they're going to fulfill, right? They actually keep their promises, right? You have to live your life, right? You have to make the decisions and take those steps, right? Your mommy, right? She, she can cry over your casket when you're gone, but she can't walk in your shoes, right? She can't be in that situation when you're in that situation that you wish you wasn't in, right? Neither can your father or your best friend or your sister, your brother, none, none of these people. <laughs> you have to make the, these, these decisions um, for yourself. But someone's taking a leap of faith and someone needed that advice. Right. It's something I've been saying over the past four years. You can only control what you think, say and do. Right. What you taking accountability, what you think, what you say and what you do, not what Tyrone and them said. Not what Tyrone and them did. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, why was you hanging out with them? All right. Let's clarify the nine of swords. Mental illness here or sleeplessness, this anxiety or nervousness, the here font. Yeah, this is taking accountability, right? This is entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. business owner. Like I said, I think the most confident people in the world are people that's willing to go out on a limb. I don't I didn't say go quit your job. I didn't say, you know, uh, get rid of your family. Right. <laughs> Just because someone said your shoes are ugly. Right. No, I. um I realized like that and it makes it makes sense. The most confident people in the world are people that are willing to go out on a limb or their own ideas and create something for themselves. Right. Become sovereign. Stand on something here. So the high priest. Sorry, not the high priestess. Another Feridian slip here. Who is the divine counterpart of the Hierophant. 
right? So someone could be coming into completion with themselves. This is self-love, right? It's not always about a romantic connection that you could have outside of someone. What about the romantic connection you have within yourself, right? Someone definitely could have been dealing with confidence issues here. We have a Taurus here. The Empress, right? I know Tauruses usually struggle with their, with their weight, right? I've dated a few of them, right? they like me. They're the Netflix and chill. <laughs> no, no sex involved. We just like to just lay up and just gorge ourselves on, like... <laughs> Shows, movies, and food, right? Sex in the bed. <laughs> Super chill vibes. But yeah, an entrepreneur, a business owner. Someone's signature is going to be worth a million bucks one day as well. You may have you may have dealt with fraud. Or you may deal with, what is it, fraud or taxes or something like that? You, it's something about, something about the system. But, you know, you have to take the good with the bad. Like I said, your signature is going to be worth a million bucks or something like that. Probably, possibly your likeness. Again, if you own a business, then I'm guessing your business is going to be very valuable. You could be a teacher or something like that, possibly a, a religious or a spiritual teacher. You could be married. There could be marriage in your future. Or you could be dealing with married couples. Yeah, you possibly, um, I'm not sure. We'll have to take a look at the last card. Mm. So... The world card is here on top of, yeah. So, yeah, if someone recently closed out a cycle, they finished grieving or something like that. Like a loss took place. It was a, it was a cycle. It was like a, I'm not sure if it was a recurring cycle of like bad luck or something like that. Or just bad things happening over and over and over. A breakup, right? Or someone br broke up with somebody right while they was dealing with a death in the family or whatever the case may be. Like those types of situations. Yeah, but I'm getting that Bob. It's not a Bob Marley song. It's a Jamaican song. You can't keep a good man down. Yeah, it's like someone is have. They, again, they're very strong. You know, what doesn't kill you make you stronger, right? Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck here. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Which was grounding the reading. Now we have the Rolling Stone displacement, change up in the finances or confidence or comfort level, with the Five of Pentacles. Mm. I want to say this person works best while they're under pressure. This person that's coming towards you. That's interesting because the previous reading, the person liked to be spoiled. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of feminine energy. And this one, I'm not necessarily going to say it reminds me of masculine energy, but it seems like this person works better while under pressure or something like that or because they went through tough times or seen tough times right like pressure that would break most people seems nothing to this person because they they stand on strong principles right you have to in order to know what happiness feels like you have to feel what heart you know i'm just saying this for for saying its sake right <laughs> like you wouldn't be able to appreciate a son unless you um was in the rain right you know what uh, true happiness is when it comes to love and relationships when you've been through a heartbreak right even like those um, elementary crushes, right? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, romance. Someone knows what romance is, right? You can find romance in all things. Uh, silver linings type of individual. Yeah, this person looks at the silver linings, right? <laughs> hmm. I'm getting a channel message. Something about this person willing to share as well. Oh, look what we have. I'm talking about sharing. Just look at the picture alone besides uh, the meaning of the devil card. But yes, yeah, sharing. Like this person would share their last. Even, even, if they, even if they was down to their last, they would share it. But what came before that was the Knight of Cups. So I'm guessing it has to be, you know... A love relationship, yeah, marriage. Okay, yeah, from death do us part, yeah, yeah. I know there's marriage here, three of wands, and then the last card, strength. Yeah, this is the connection. Near, far, wherever you are. What is that? Titanic, one of the biggest love blockbusters ever. And then we have the strength card, the strength and longevity, right? What you've built or what you've made of. Mm -hmm. Strong DNA with the infinity symbol over the maiden's head. Right, alchemy. If we, if we, like I said, they would have turned pain into pleasure, right? Trials into triumph, right? Transmutation. Yep. 
Major Arcana to show up in this reading. Well, technically it was only the higher font in the world card. Wait, nope. So we actually got more. We got the Fool, Aries, the higher font, Taurus, the world card, all of the, well, to me it's Sagittarius. And then we did have the Devil show up under the deck, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Strong earth sign energy. Very grounded person or very 3D individual. They get here yeah, very well maintain the whole some sort of a high position or appear very sovereign or there's some sort of an entrepreneur or business owner. The high court cards. Knight of Cups. They're coming in to romance you. They're trying to get this Six of Wands and this Ten of Pentacles with you. But yeah, this person is, is either very beautiful or they find you to be very beautiful, right? Mirroring, right? <laughs> you like attracts like, basically. Hmm. Ooh, you may be dealing with another. So Taurus is the Empress. You may be dealing with another Empress. Let's do a break deck message before we close out the reading. To Taurus somewhere here in this reading. Someone with uh, Taurus uh, placements highly aspected. Well, what else do we have? We had Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Capricorn. This person is very attractive as well. All right, break that message. The Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles. Very lucky individual. This person may be, I'm not sure if they're a gambler or they could travel a lot. Mm, like Airbnbs, hotels, um, resorts and that sort of thing, right? This person could like stay in an Airbnb for two weeks, stay in a hotel for two weeks, go on a resort for two weeks. <laughs> They live some sort of a wheel of fortune lifestyle where their karma keep changing and destiny of fate keeps directing them in different places, right? For me, it's your internal compass, the wheel of fortune is, right? Your inherent, your inherent, um, you know the difference between right and wrong, right? You know discernment, you know how to create your own luck, basically is what karma is. You do right, you get right back to you, right? Yeah. It's also my wedding ring card as well. So if this is a love relationship and you're looking for some sort of a wish fulfillment, there's definitely some sort of a positivity when it comes to a uh, possible marriage for you as well. We did have the here font. Yeah, Knight of Cups. And what do we have jumping up? Two cards. Ooh, perfect timing, which is the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups, right? <laughs> And you know when I talk about my do-it-yourself tarot deck where the cups are bubbles, boy, that eight, <laughs> that king of cups came around, um, the king of bubbles comes around blowing bubbles. But no, this is strong romance, though. This is like the two, uh, when we talk about love, I can't believe this actually showed up at the end of the reading. So you have a water sign headed towards you, possibly a Scorpio, bringing this ace of cups, this holy grail, right, this overflowing cup of love, emotion, right? This person could be, be highly energetic, intuitive, or sympathetic. It could be dealing with a psychic here. Because the Wheel of Fortune, for me, is a crystal ball. Yeah. Under the deck is cycles. This person wants to open up a new cycle with you, a new romantic cycle. Yeah, okay. Everything happens for a reason. Be ready for this This King of Cups. This person is going to come in with a whole lot of romance. Mm-hmm. Highly supportive, emotionally intelligent, is super intuitive. Mm -hmm. You're getting a very responsible individual because it's a masculine figure. Right? This could also be a feminine as well. I mean, a woman as well who's you know in her masculine energy, very responsible and very supportive. But yeah, that's what I have for you here today, collective, in regards to love and romance almost um it was clutch right? definitely clutch while i was talking about the wheel of fortune and the positivity that comes with it in regards to relationships we had the jumper the king of cups and the ace of cups 
a new romance coming towards you from, yeah, a mature romantic fellow. All right, Romeo and Juliet. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.